Hi, I'm Mike Stan. It's April 30th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham and Chris Flossy from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Gentlemen, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, Dan, let's start with you. Uh, towards the end of the week, things started to get a little bit interesting. Yields ticked up. Uh, are people starting to uh, really uh, price in inflation expectations or what else is going on in the market? Yeah, we're, we're, we're in a trading range right now as far as rates, the 10-year at 163 and the long bond at a 230, still off the highs we reached about a month ago. Um, and we've been in a fairly tight trading range. So inflation expectations are, um, I think there's the fear of inflation expectations and, and similar to, to comments out of uh, Jay Powell this week, um, are we at, at the point where we should start talking about uh, the increase of rates or, or reducing some of the stimulus at the Fed level, um, you continue to see uh, a very patient Fed and the direction from them um, continues to be the same of stay the course, not only with the low Fed funds rate, but also, also with the continuation of the asset purchase. Um, so I think there's, there's a lot of fear in the market of higher rates or a lot of fear of inflation expectations picking up or actually inflation coming, but we're really not seeing that at this point. And probably no surprise that the, the uptick in rates did come after uh, President Biden Wednesday night speech laying out his plans for infrastructure. It was a very, I think a lot of people in the market were surprised at how central infrastructure was to his message. Yeah, that's very true. I think, you know, we, we've seen a few trillion dollar uh, plans passed already, another uh, trillion, uh, two trillion dollar plan being um, uh, trying to get pushed through along with uh, follow up two, uh, trillion plus plans on the horizon. So the market, um, market seems to be taking it all in pretty good uh, stride. Um, we'll see what actually gets passed and how much the market is actually um, anticipating what gets passed versus what's being proposed at this point, but there's a fair amount of uncertainty um, and it can have some pretty dramatic market implications, um, but we're not seeing it at this, at this point. It, it does seem like there's an appetite on Capitol Hill that with a lot of these plans to try to leverage the muni market to, to do these things as federal grants that are, are used uh, paired with local money to, uh, to finance projects. So it could be called, the market could be called on to finance a lot of this infrastructure. There does seem to be an appetite for that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the municipal market is certainly a, um, uh, one of the options that could see a, a decent amount of issuance in, in support of some of the, in especially the infrastructure parts of it. So Chris, uh, we're not feeling those impacts in the new issue market quite yet, but uh, what, did, uh, what did you see in an active week this week? Right, so this week, the, the calendar was a little bit muted compared to the last, the last several weeks. Uh, BAM still managed to price $254 million of new issue par. Um, and that this week it was spread across 24 series and 10 states. A uh, couple of deals to highlight: the Huskies of Northern University, Northern Illinois University, came to market this week. They priced a 99 million dollar deal with Piper, and this deal performed very well. We can see that with the yields relative to the pre-pricing wire to how they ended up uh, pricing in the end. Uh, there are also two competitive sales to note. We had a 24 million dollar Dearborn Heights, Michigan deal that was bought by B of A Securities. And then a $23 billion million Belleville, New Jersey deal that was bought by R.W. Baird. And we continue to see more volume in the competitive space. Uh, over the past three or four weeks, we, BAM has seen 25 deals bid in our, quote, target market. Uh, we, continue, we, we expect to see that trend continue uh, in the coming weeks. And so for next week, uh, obviously, the deals we know about are the ones in the negotiated sector. What, uh, what stands out on the calendar? Right. Overall, the calendar ticks back up to above 10 billion, with roughly two thirds of that expected to be negotiated. Uh, BAM has $165 million slated to price on the calendar. Uh, deals to highlight include two Pennsylvania transactions. There's a $47 million Fail Fairview School District that Jenny Montgomery will bring, and also a $28 million Mercer County tra transaction uh, that will be priced by RBC. And a state that we don't see that often is Oregon, but there's a $23 million Boardman, Oregon transaction pricing. And that deal has qualified for the BAM Green Star designation. And there's also a credit insight video on the BAM website. 
Yeah, Shelby Schwabauer from VIMS, uh, Los Angeles office uh, VP out there, uh, takes you through the credit uh, details on that. Uh, one of the things interesting there, I'd say that's a general obligation bond issue, not a water sewer revenue bond issue, but all of the proceeds are going to be spent on water and sewer projects. That's why the, uh, the use of proceeds qualified for the uh, under the ICMA green bond principles. So it's a uh, an interesting story, as you said, a little bit different to see a, a large transaction from Oregon. So uh, thank you for your time this week, gentlemen. Uh, good luck in the markets, and uh, we'll see you in May. Thanks, Mike. Great. Thanks, Mike. When the market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, pension issues, and economic disruption. So while America rebuilds, BAM has you covered. BAM. Build America Mutual. Talk to your investment advisor or visit buildamerica.com.